Welcome to Doing Neato Things in Linux. All right, for the touchscreen in Linux, uh, here's one thing I found is there's this, uh, this program called Touch Egg. There's other videos that are more into detail on it. I just installed what I could find. I couldn't find the G GUI configuration tool, but I just installed the bare bones version and then you have to launch it when you launch your computer, but if you want to use the touch screen, it allows you to do, um, you have to double tap with two fingers to scroll around in Linux. If you do one, you just get like that, that signal click that comes default in Linux. But if you want to do that, you can do your, you know, there's scrolls and your right, uh, you can also right click and copy paste. If you double tap it, you can do your right click uh, to get your menus up and all that. So if that's something you're looking for, you want with your Linux computer, uh, Touch Egg is a, a nice little app that you can launch um, when you start it up that you'll be able to use your laptop computer as a, uh, as a tablet. I personally, I think it's fun to play with for a day, but really, day-to-day -day life with this computer, I don't really use touch uh, the touch screen part of it a whole lot, but if that's something you're looking for, uh, definitely that's the that's the road I'd like to put you down is get touch egg. So please give this video a like, share, and subscribe. Uh, also, I have this web page called freesatellitetv.net that I'd like to tell you about where you if you want to find information about how to get free satellite TV. I've done a lot of tutorials on that type of stuff through my Happy Satellite Nerd videos. So please check those out in the, in the playlist. Just click on those playlists and let it play all day long over and over again and absorb the information to your brain and it will bless you. And may, may that be a blessing onto you. So thank you kindly. If you want to, please click on the videos around here at the end of the video, subscribe, or watch what YouTube's algorithm thinks is the most recommended for you or one of these playlists at the bottom.